Hi, I'm Mr. Mills. I run the Fire Breather Rocketry Club here at Sato. And uh, one of the things we like to do is test out new materials, more advanced materials. Uh, right now we're getting into composites, which means you mix multiple things together to get the material that you want. And we've been dealing a lot with fiberglass. So I'm going to show you how to make a fiberglass tube using uh, the fiberglass reinforcing cloth and epoxy resin. And just to show you what it looks like on the final uh, result, this is a, a rocket made by one of our ninth graders last year and he put 3D printed fins on it. But the, the fiberglass tube itself is really strong. Um, and if I remember right, he, uh, I think he went over Mach 1 on this rocket and it took him about six hours to find it out in the desert. So let's get started. So for materials, we're going to need our tube shape, which is our mandrel, and that's the shape that the fiberglass is going to take. We need to cover the tube with some clear cellophane so that the tube does not stick to our mandrel. We've got our epoxy resin, which is the hard glassy part, and then to reinforce that, we have our reinforcing fiberglass fiber cloth. And then for mixing, we've got stir sticks, cups, a brush to brush it on with, and most importantly, gloves because this stuff feels really nasty when you get it on your fingers. So next we're going to wrap the fiberglass cloth reinforcing around the tube and add epoxy resin to it as we go and wrap it all the way around. And, uh, and this is the part that takes forever. So I wonder if I can get some help. Hey guys, can I get an extra hand over here? Guys? Man, what a mess. I think I got some on my shirt, too. Well, this is why we can't have nice things. So now that we've let the epoxy cure overnight, we can uh, pull it off the tube. And it kept its shape because it's now hardened and it's a nice strong tube. So you put that together with some uh, 3D printed parts. You got yourself a rocket. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at Sato.